Here we go again at Gardermoen Oslo, leaving for the Ethereum tour on the way to Malta. Let's start this week off. Here we go. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Goodbye, old cats. See you soon. Won't be too long. Today I'm flying Lufthansa and um, I am in business class actually. So maybe a proper Mr. Bean would be the thing to do today. I don't know. I'm in the front, so I don't know if it makes any sense, but. <laughs> Having a little bit of a long wait here in Munich today and uh, had a nice, nice burger. Some kind of olive patty. But it was pretty good actually, with avocado. Otherwise, I'm pretty tired of waiting for airplanes actually. The only thing I know is the planes will not come earlier because I am complaining. I have learned that after all these years. Finally, it became almost six hours here. In Munich, made it to Malta. So, been in Malta now for an hour or something, and now I am at the ferry terminal to the next island called Gozo. So, you got these nice views of Gozo. I'm out on a little walk. Supposed to be Calypso okay, cave, but I don't know if this is the entrance. Here we go! Two months of touring starting right now. Celebrating with a Starbucks cappuccino. These are pretty tasty actually. I like it. Check this out. They have the Indian Doom right there. Gozo. I would really like to have this house right here. I think it looks pretty doom. It reminds me of that movie Count of Monte Cristo. He gets put in a jail that is on an island. Then he makes revenge. Jail in the Count of Monte Cristo. I actually don't know if it is that island they are filming it. Maybe someone can look up. The, the jail that is in the movie Count of Monte Cristo is on the island between Malta and Gozo. That would be really interesting to know for me. But yeah, I would like to have that house. We are traveling with way too much gear for flying, I would say. It's a lot of gear. They didn't really like where we parked either, so maybe we are getting a little parking ticket at the airport. Unlucky us. Maybe we are unlucky or maybe we should just think about where we are parking. Maybe it is the parking guy's fault that he actually having open eyes and looking at where we are. I would consider it being the parking guy's fault, of course. We are having too much gear here and uh, it's heavy work to lift it all. So, or the, he should just like, ah, it's you, Chris. Well, then you don't need a parking ticket, but uh, hey, who am I? Do you know who I am? I can't get the parking ticket. Come on. If I was hired as a, a guy that gives parking tickets, I would never give a ticket to anyone because I think you should just park wherever you want. Like you do a home and home first. You never need to think about it really. You just like, okay, there is some green space or there is a, some place to park. Just park in front of the door or wherever, you know. You don't really need to think about it. One of the really big pluses of living in home first. There is a couple of roads where you can't really park these days. They've started giving tickets it on two roads, I think, in that city. I really recommend people to move to Hog first so you can park wherever you want, pretty much. Hopefully, it's a park it ticket free town for the rest of the future as well. Good stuff. Next part of the trip, Frankfurt to Bucharest. What do you think, Sami? Not much. We made it to Romania. And hopefully all the gear made it as well. 
the air tags is telling me that the, my gear is here. So hopefully everything is here. First day on the tour and we are already out on a quest. We need a new bag because we have too much gear spread out. Let's move out. Found the bags and there is uh, lots of choices here. Hmm. Should I have uh, the grey one or shall we go with the black one? That's the question. The grey one. We are good to go. Bag check. It is a pretty cool building right there. It looks like it could be in Star Wars. Almost like the Jedi Temple. Now the proper day starts of day one here at the Quantic Music Club in Bucharest. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just. Did it. Oh my god. How are the drums sounding? Call Anko. And if we go down here, we have Mr. Gilda working on the guitars. How's it going? Great. Will they be ready for uh, the first show tonight? Of course. Good work, man. Hey, oh, come, come. I'm gonna show something. Ultra Max. There you go. <laughs> What are you playing? Word view. For 10 years. Called in Swedish gub. The band Alpha opening for us here tonight. Sounded pretty heavy. What the fucking day. It's been so much to do and sorting everything out, sorting all the racks, gears, whatever, fixing everything. There was some broken things. I had 10 minutes to eat during the day, helping the crew with everything so it works properly. You know, I thought I would go there, have a bit of lunch, shake it out, do the sound check and then go back to the hotel. First day chaos, you know, it's always like this. Hopefully I can find the way to the hotel because I, I think I remembered the name of the hotel and I think I am walking the right direction. I know, I'm a living map, you know. I found it, hotel, yesterday. And I guess they named it yesterday because it looks like yesterday inside. It's not inspired by the Beatles song. It just looks very old. I can say this, it's not one of those nicer hotels I've been to in my life. Nope, it's not in the top 10, you see? Feel the luxury. Dun -dun. Hello. Can it also go? So can they Ultra Max! <laughs> ready for the first show? So fucking ready. Here we go. Are you ready, Anton? Yes. Check, check. Yes. Here we go. Let's try this. Feeling alright? <laughs> Perfect. Middle of the show. It's going pretty well so far. Time for a Siren of the Woods. tradition of the person who makes the jazziest version by fucking up get the jazz hat you know 
to wear backstage, and I didn't do it this time. Not Neither you. did him. No, I, I I know a guy from South America that did. Mr. Vidal, what are we doing? Uh, I was looking for uh, Ultramax. Ultramax. Ultramax special. Ultramax special. Ultramax, Ultramax. 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 Ultramax special. Yeah, it's all done, and now we are going to Bulgaria, Sofia, for tomorrow's show, and we are traveling over Vienna. No. Is it gonna be a nice flight? It's gonna be okay. I have enough fear in me, so. Flight mode is on, and Vidal has matching headphones now. Ultramax. Ultramax headphones. Special. Special. The Super Ultramax Special in C sharp. There you go. C sharp. Yeah. Yeah. C sharp and B tuning. Here is another regular day issue on tour. Now I'm gonna share something that people maybe don't know that come and watch the shows, but now you're gonna see something. This happens almost every fucking day on tour. And the car is full of bags. We have 25 pieces of gear and they bring us those two cars where it's only seats. So we have that much gear. It's like 25 pieces, um, lots of big guitar cases and uh, you know gear cases. And so to all promoters out there that if you get a band and they say we, have, we come with a lot of gear and you're going to have a show with a metal band, I think you should expect that we're not coming with flutes or something that is this small. It is a lot of big cases. This happens almost every fucking day. This is very annoying. So it pisses me off. It pisses everyone off. Everyone gets in a bad mood. I don't understand how hard it can be. What do you think about this situation here? Uh, yeah, it's business as usual, <laughs> you know. Is it good? No, I I feel like being home, you know, like being in Finland. So? Everything is fucked, you know, all the time. <laughs> so I'm happy, actually. All right. <laughs> yeah, so it's no problem for me, you know. We have arrived at the hotel in Sofia and we have packed all our gear into our rooms and all that stuff and are about to eat a little bit. But it was a very nice hotel, this uh, hotel here. It's called uh, Hotel Marinella. Probably not announced like that in this language. Let's say Hotel Marinella. Our good order. Come on, let's go in and uh, we check out this hotel in Sofia where we are having a little night off already. The second night is already a night off. That's how we like it. Here you have a restaurant, seems to be fish place. Here there is like a Japanese restaurant called Bulgar. Like clothing store inside the hotel. A nice bar. More restaurants, Italian restaurants. I'm gonna go to this Italian restaurant and have a risotto in a little bit. But I'm gonna check out the bar first. Terion. 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 <laughs> the venue for tonight in Sofia. I don't know what's up with these uh, tables here, but I hope it's just going to be tons of mosh pits and chairs and tables flying all over the place. Uh, let's do some sound check. Someone is playing my bass. Hello! Oh, 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 what does he say there? Hey, what does he say? Two, one, two! Horolahi, 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 Hey, hey! Two. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, check out tonight's support act and see how they are doing. The after show signings, hard work. Thank you.
Ultramax. <laughs> Another one down, the second one. I had pretty much the biggest blackout I've ever had. And it was at a spot where you don't really want to have a blackout. And I just couldn't figure out. I couldn't even figure out what song we were playing. But we had already been playing the song for four minutes. And I still couldn't figure out what song we were playing. Oh, sometimes it is interesting to be on the road, I can tell you that. But well, that's it for this week pretty much. Thanks for this week and uh, see you next week. Cheers from Bulgaria, Sofia.